Hey all, this is Entom, just getting ready for uh, today's Pokemon Presents presentation, February 26, 2021. Now, there was always going to be excitement building around such an event, just mostly because rumours fly, you want to see Diamond and Pearl remakes, you want to see this and that, but um, earlier today, uh, some very plausible leaks dropped, seemingly confirming remakes for Diamond and Pearl but also a Sinnoh prequel game? Like, either 15 years in the past or 15 years in the future. Don't quite know yet. But, um, the remakes are apparently going to be called Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, or, you know, reverse those nouns, adjectives, whatever. And, uh, apparently the new game is going to be called Pokemon Legends Arceus, or Arceus, however you pronounce it. But I guess we'll see in roughly about 20 seconds or so. I'm willing to believe these leaks, but uh, this will be where we get full presentation. And of course, since it's Pokemon Direct, it's not just going to be games. It's going to be multimedia like Pokemon Sleep and such, so uh, don't expect it right off the bat. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Full screen. The Pokemon Company. Turn this up a little bit. Oh boy. We're not going straight into it, are we? Aww. I'm a sucker for this sort of thing. I consumed all this shit as a child. Pokemania was real. Yeah, we didn't have Hey You Pikachu in the UK, because we have too many accents. I did have uh, the Pikachu Walker, though, and the Rumble Pack, yep. Fuck yeah. I'm so glad we're getting a Snap sequel. Too bad blockbusters are uh, kind of <laughs> out of business for the most part, so we can't take it, our stuff in to get it printed off. Yeah, that was a Japanese thing for a crystal. That's how you got Celebi. Wow, they really are going through all of it, aren't they? Never had the uh, the mini or the e-reader, honestly. Uh, I've really come to enjoy Ruby and Sapphire in recent years. And, um, yeah, I think it might actually be my second favorite gen now. Never played Dash, but uh, Flame played it for us during the Super Nintendo fun. So there you go. And I played the typing game, so... Oh, wow. Mm. It could happen, guys. Could you imagine if those leaks turned out not to be real? And I really wish you'd stop buffering, thank you. Guys, please. You're gonna break my heart if you keep doing this. Mm. Let me put it down to 720p or something. That should hopefully help it stop buffering. Oh no! Now it's all the way back there. No, don't do this to me! I might be a little bit behind now, but whatever. This is a recorded video, so... Jesus, we're only on Gen 5. Imagine if this is the whole thing, and then it's just like, yeah, here's some games. See ya! That's a fun game, Pokemon typing. I love how they were just flexing. Like, yeah, we, we had a plane. 
All right, Gen 6. Uh, I was so happy when uh, Pokken uh, became a proper thing. Come on, guys. Jesus. Hopefully they'll make a sequel. Woo, my voice broke there. Pokemon Shuffle Mobile. Yeah, yeah. Gotta catch them all. I swear to fucking Christ, if you keep buffering, I'm gonna pitch a shit for it. Oh, we're almost there. You know, I'm gonna switch down to 720, just because I feel it's, uh, gotta keep buffering. We go back a little bit, it's fine. Sorry about this, guys, it is a live video, obviously. Kind of skipped past the let's go pretty quickly, didn't they? Get your fucking fit, boy. Yeah, Detective Pikachu. The film is a lot better than the game, I'm just gonna say that. The game is fine as well, there's nothing wrong with the game, it's just a bit bland. Oh, here we go, guys. Oh, Pokemon Smile, there it is. Whoa, really? Oh, yeah, that was a thing as well. Alright, what's next for Pokemon? They certainly know how to make a fucking trailer, I'll give them that. My hands? I ain't seen no Pokeball here. Hello everyone. Ah, there he is. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. February 27th is the date Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green were released in Japan. Aww. Marking the beginning of the Pokemon series. My first copy was actually an American version of Red that I got from an import store. Years have passed since the Pokemon series was born. We've shared so much with you over the past 25 years through our games, but also through so many other mediums. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's not quite Pokemania anymore, but it's still a global titan. You, each and every one of you. Aww. Today, Mr. Utsunomiya will introduce our latest updates. Very excited for this. Come on, let's go. Hello there. My name is Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. First, I'd like to give you the latest update on the new Pokemon Snap game. Nice. We've put together a video that will show you some of the gameplay. Please have a look. I'm really interested to see if there is, like, routes you can choose and whatnot. So excited for this. Welcome to the world of new Pokemon Snap. This is the Lentil region. You'll ride the Neo One through the jungle, across the desert, and even under the sea to research Pokemon in their natural habitats. Looks so good. It's everything I wanted from a sequel. Professor Mirror, who's doing research in the Lentil region, and research team members Rita and Phil are there to support you. Oh, you got a rival of sorts. Now then, let's get that research started. By watching wild Pokemon, you can discover behaviors and expressions that are rarely seen. Look, a surfing Alolan Raichu. Oh, Richie's gonna be happy. And there's Vaporeon. Let's try throwing in a fluff fruit. Flame's gonna be happy, but for a completely different reason. Sicko. 
Adorbs. Oh, it's Tyranitar. Oh, he's gonna fucking kill us. What a wild way to eat. Here's a park at night. Let's try playing a melody. Oh, that sure made Hoot Hoot happy. Aww. You'll also have Illumina Orbs, something the professor invented. If you use one of these, you can make any Pokemon glow. Oh my god, just fucking gen genetically modify them on the fly. Whoa, those flames changed color. Make good use of your tools to take shots that really stand out. Then, show the photos you took to the professor. I'm still wondering if the professor is like a, a grown-up Todd. Or snap, I guess. Catch a variety of different behaviors on camera to fill up your Pokemon photo decks. This is exciting. And there's more. You'll be able to edit the photos you've taken. Oh, this is everything you want from a snap sequel, like right? Alright, look at this. Your favorite photos even more special. And I'm sure you'll want to show off your best photos, right? We know that feeling well. When you want to do that, it's time to go online. You can share your favorite photos and check out photos from around the world. That's and cool. And if your photo becomes popular, it might even be featured and get more attention. Seeing something like that may inspire you to go back and take even more photos. We're getting closer to the start of your adventure. Unexplored islands and plenty of Pokemon await in the Lentil region. So make sure you're prepared. That looked like Todd back there, Whoa, next to the professor. Is that the mythical Pokemon Celebi? Ooh. Look at that shit, yeah! Get ready, the Lentil region is waiting for you. So looking forward to that. Have to do a, another playthrough of the first uh, game beforehand, just to get us all hyped for it and whatnot, I think. April 30th. Next. I'd like to tell you about several events we're holding to celebrate Pokemon Day. Okay. In the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games, special Max Raid battles featuring Gigantamax Pikachu are underway. I heard this guy was a bitch to catch, so no thanks. And in Pokemon Cafe Mix, we're holding a promotion in which you can receive 2,500 golden acorns for logging in. Oh, cool. In Pokemon <laughs> that gives me a reason to go back. Zapdos, Moltres, and even Mewtwo are appearing in legendary raid battles as part of a Kanto-themed celebration event. Cool. It's always fucking Kanto. In Pokemon Masters EX, Galar Region Champion Leon and his partner Pokemon Charizard will arrive at last. I actually like Leon a lot as a character. We hope you'll enjoy as a champion, events. even. Next, I'd like to present the latest news about the Pokemon video game series. Okay. Now have a look at this video. Oh boy, here we go. It's fucking happening! Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Remakes confirmed! Come on, you've got to save Gen 4 for me. Speed it up. Give me a better pool of Pokemon. That's all I want. And get rid of HMs too. Brilliant, eh? Oh, it's Chibi! Yeah! It's like fucking Link's Awakening. I love it. And then in battle, they're like full-sized and whatnot. Yeah, I like this a lot. It looks really clean. This is so cute, it's actually giving me diabetes. And since another company is handling uh, these remakes, then, um, you know, Game Freak's gonna be uh, working on the, the other game I mentioned. Brilliant diamond, there it is. And Shining Pearl. It's a real shame that was leaked, but, uh, hey, um, playthrough confirmed, guys. We're going to Sinnoh for the first time on HFC. Well, 
But another story awaits. Ooh, I'd be waiting to see this in action proper. It enters a new era. This is a tale from a long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. When the Sinnoh region was still only a vast wilderness. A certain village bustled with the comings and goings of people. While in the mountains and seas, Pokemon roamed as they pleased. Oh. There it is. <laughs> Look at that shit. This looks nice. Ancestors of uh, Dawn and the male protag, I guess. Oh, that's weird. No menus or anything. This is exactly what people wanted. Not sure about the uh, the frame rate on that Chingling back there, or whatever it's called. Sacrifices, I guess. I hope there's like more than one town. Yeah, the, these are the starter Pokemon: Cyndaquil, Rowlet, and Oshawa. That's crazy. I'm going with fucking Cyndaquil, by the way. I don't care, sorry. Those ancient Pokeballs look cool as hell. Arceus, maybe? There he is! Pokemon Legends, Arceus. Wow. Again, I'm sad that was leaked, but seeing it in action makes me even more excited. And releasing worldwide, early 2022. I'm pleased to announce two new additions to the Pokemon video game series. Both Come on. Seriously? Taking place in the Sinnoh region. First, I'd like to present the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. These are faithful remakes of the Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon Pearl version games, which were released for the Nintendo taking place in the Sinnoh region. Sorry guys, I had to put it down to 480. Like to present the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. These are faithful remakes of the Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon Pearl version games, which were released for the Nintendo DS system in Japan 15 years ago. This is all I wanted from Gen 4 remakes. Make them snappier, give me more Pokemon to play with. Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. Remakes of the Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon Pearl version games which were released for the Nintendo DS system. Yeah, it's still tile-based, but I guess that These works for, were um... By Ilka Inc., there you go. also worked on Pokemon Home. The project is being directed by Yuichi Ueda of Ilka, as well as Game Freak's Junichi Masuda, okay. who is the director for the original Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon Pearl version games. Your adventure will take place in the Sinnoh region. Rich in nature and with towering Mount Coronet at its heart, it is a land of many myths passed down through the ages. The sense of scale of the original game's towns and roots has been carefully preserved and you'll be able to travel through familiar locations once again. I'm gonna be honest, on your journey this excites me more <laughs> than uh, Auras did. As your first partner Pokemon, in these games, you can enjoy a grand adventure together with all the Pokemon from Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon Pearl version. Newcomers and previous visitors to the Sinnoh region alike can look forward to experiencing the original Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl stories Freshly recreated for Nintendo Switch. New stuff, come on. What did you think? Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl will launch simultaneously around the world late this year. We hope you're all excited for a nostalgic yet fresh adventure in the Sinnoh region. Hmm, no word on Megas or anything. Next, allow me to introduce you to the Pokemon Legends Arceus game. Oh, I'm Pokemon so excited Legends for this. Arceus represents a new approach for the Pokemon video game series. 
development is in full swing at Game Freak. With the aim I'm really sorry about these buffers, guys. But I'm on a wide connection. This shouldn't be happening. Please have a look at this video. Ooh, alright. Explain me a thing. The events of this game unfold in the Sinnoh of old. In this time, too, Mount Coronet towers over the, <sighs> the center of the region. Pokemon live freely in the wild here, but the harsh environments may be different from the Sinnoh region you remember. Horrible buffering hailstorms. In this era, people have journeyed to Sinnoh from all over, and founded a prosperous village in the hope of learning more about this land. As for these three Pokémon, Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawott, it seems they were brought to Sinnoh by a certain professor who encountered them while traveling around various regions. Interesting. You'll set off on your adventure after receiving a first partner Pokémon of your own from this professor. With the village as your base, you'll venture out to the different corners of the region on your quest to create Sinnoh's very first Pokedex. Ah. Even in this era, wild Pokemon can be caught with Pokeballs. You can also engage in Pokemon battles alongside your Pokemon allies. Oh, um, okay. Well, I guess it's just going to kick me out. That works. You'll set off on let me just, uh, do a refresh here. Uh, go back, go back. Your Pokedex. So, really sorry about this, guys. I apologize. Catching and battling Pokemon and strive to complete your Pokedex. I was just explaining what I kind of already do, so... Now for the mythical Pokemon that graces the game's title and story, Arceus. According to legend, Arceus shaped all there is in this world. But how is this Pokemon connected to your journey? Hmm. The answer to this question and more awaits you in this exciting new action RPG adventure for the Nintendo Switch system. I actually called it an action RPG. That's naughty. Hopefully the world's not too empty, you know? Pokemon Legends Arceus will launch simultaneously around the world early next year. We hope you're all excited to set out on these adventures across the Sinnoh region, each one distinctly different from the other, with the wonderfully nostalgic Pokémon Brilliant Diamond and Pokémon Shining Pearl, as well as the Pokémon video game series New Journey, Pokémon Legends Arceus. I'm excited for all of that. <laughs> as Pokémon celebrates 25 years, and not a word about Unite, good. And deliver new ways for everyone to enjoy Pokémon even more. Thank you very much for watching. Wow, that was actually a great presentation. I, apart from the buffering, which I don't know if it was their end or my end, I'm pretty happy with all of that. So, um, yeah, look out for a playthrough of uh, Brilliant Diamond, probably starting in December. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll uh, take a look at Pokemon Legends Arceus next year. Way, way before all of that, though, we've got new Pokemon Snap coming up, so please stay tuned for that. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you excited by these reveals? Are you, you know, apathetic? Let, let us know. Let us know. I'm interested to see what you guys think. Sorry again about all the buffering, guys, but I hope you enjoyed my reaction the same. All the same, even. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.